guys and welcome back to my channel and happy fall. I hope you guys are all enjoying chilly mornings wherever you are, if it is indeed fall where you are watching this video. Today I want to share with you guys some surprising finds I found at the Dollar Tree. Long story short, there was a day where me and some of my castmates had a two show day, which means we had a show in the morning and then again in the evening. So it left us with this big chunk of time that we spent together in the middle of the day and we ended up doing what all actors usually do, just going around getting something to eat and then just filling that time with various things. That day we went to the Dollar Tree and typically I don't buy any type of home decor at the Dollar Tree, but just through having an extra hour and a half walking through the store, I put together a few things that I wanted to share with you guys today. If you like these home decor or Dollar Tree find videos, give this one a thumbs up. And if you're watching this unsubscribed, click that little red subscription button down below. But without any further ado, let's get into the finds we found finds we found at the Dollar Tree. The first one that I really liked was putting together this flower arrangement. These were just literally three different parts that went together to make this really nice piece. Obviously, the vase was one, the filler stones. I didn't even know they had filler at the Dollar Tree. I don't think I'll ever go to like a home decor or a craft store to get filler anymore. They had the marbles, they had like the rice, they had the stones, and they were all in packets. This is just one pack in it filled the vase perfectly for one dollar and then these are three different flowers so they were a dollar a piece so three dollars for the fake fillers um, I love the colors I think that was a really nice combination of the yellows and the oranges and then the creamy whites I thought that looked really nice and this is the first thing you see when you walk into my dining room I'm gonna confess something to you guys we're gonna get real right here I was ready to go to Bath and Body Works and buy their fall candle collection that is until I went and saw that they were being sold for $25 for like the regular size Bath and Body Works and there were four I wanted so in essence I was ready to drop $100 for four candles and lucky enough for me, I did this Dollar Tree haul before I went to Bed Bath & Beyond, or um, Bath & Body Works, I always get those two confused. But the Dollar Tree had various fall candles. Oh, so much is happening. Anyway, my trip to the Dollar Tree found me their own fall candle collection. And while they aren't as big and tall, they were a dollar, and they have pumpkin cheesecake, and soothing eucalyptus. They had other ones like apple pie and cinnamon this and forest that, but these are the two that I liked the most and I thought they looked nice with the flower arrangement. The next thing was just kind of a fun find. I always wanna have a pumpkin in the house, but I always get a live one and over time it will you know, rot and start to smell. Even if I carve it or don't carve it, it will end up smelling at the end of the season. So this year I just got this tiny little pumpkin it's got decor that matches the flower arrangement with a little fake cranberries and some leaves but this was really nice and when fall is over i will box all of this up and be able to use it again next year other things that i found that i do not use to decorate the entrance to my dining room was this two pack i'm starting to get into the habit of making my own coffees and teas because starbucks bills are not pretty we're gonna do more at home like diy I'm gonna finally figure out how to make good cold brew coffee and I've got a couple boxes of peppermint tea, but these say, take it and go. The fact that these were 50 cents a piece, so a dollar for the pack, I will be able to stock myself up with tea and or coffee each morning and alleviate the need to stop at Starbucks. Good for my attendance at work and good for my Starbucks budget. All right, last few things. I have never bought makeup at the Dollar Tree, but I'm going to try Elf's volumizing mascara as you can tell I haven't tried it yet it's still in the packaging but this is something I have seen other people try in like Dollar Tree makeup I will not be doing a do your face with Dollar Tree makeup video but we're gonna try that one out I'm also gonna try wet n wild silk finish lipstick in the color dark wine I really like rich deep reds in the fall as you can tell by my nails I think it just looks really nice so I wanted to get a lipstick that matched that feeling. And this one I'm not very excited about. This was like the wild card pick that my actor friends wanted to try. It's called Sassy and Chic Nail Art Pen. This literally looks like a hot mess. You take, where is it? You take the 
polish, which is in the middle. You can design it on the nail like you see in the picture. And you can add this glitter at the bottom. First of all, I cannot wear this to my office because I do you know, have a job that does require us to dress nice every day and I don't think glitter nails are gonna do it. But I can see myself doing this with my friends or just sitting and filming this for the internet because that's what you do on a Friday night. A three-in-one tool to design, polish, and decorate your nails. Oh, and it smells, it smells like grapes. You can tell I'm really excited about this. Oh, at least it has instructions. Oh, very flammable. May contain a bunch of chemicals. This is this is the best idea. We're, we're gonna do this. <laughs> anyway, that is my very short and sweet fall Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys like the way I decorated the front of my dining room. I am still in the process of decorating my home. I have been here for six months. If you missed the video where I walked through my home that I just bought for the first time, I will link it up above in the cards. Yes, I just hit myself in the face. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below of good things you have found at the Dollar Tree to decorate your home. Doesn't have to be for and if you've ever found anything good in terms of home decor at the Dollar Tree, it doesn't have to be for any specific season, but let me know down below in the comments what you found, what season it was for, how you decorated it, or if you have it listed on your Instagram, Facebook, or other social medias, leave them down below in the comments so I can check them out. And once again, if you're watching this unsubscribed, click that little red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey you guys, so it's a few days after I have filmed and edited this video and I just wanted to take a minute and thank you all so much for your kind words, your support, not just on my YouTube channel but also on my Facebook and my Instagram, just leaving comments about this show, Pirates of Penzance. This is my first video I'm putting out since the show closed. Thank you all to those who understood why I took a few days off after finishing this show, just to kind of rest and take a break from filming and editing. This show played for three weekends, which in theater terms in Columbus, Ohio is a pretty good run. Things usually go between two and five weeks. We had wonderful crowds, as you see in this curtain call. But I just wanted to come on here very quickly and let you know that this show has ended. I have a lot of travel coming up. I have a huge announcement to give with you guys with that show I interviewed for, for the NBC docu-series of the lives of actors and musicians. And as soon as I get the clearance and I can give you that update, trust me, I will do just that. But I wanted to come on here, give you guys a very quick and sincere thank you for all the support and everything you do. It has been a joy to learn over the last year how to edit, join the community here on YouTube and all the other social media platforms and just letting you guys know that I appreciate you and to stay tuned in the future. Let's quickly die. Let's